ride with Miss Doc Geek here and keeping it a little bit quiet today because uh, I'm in a campground and there's other people so I don't want to disturb them too much so this will be short. Behind me I have my uh, camper set up in my Suburban you can see here and you'll see that there is a peak to the roof of my little uh, canopy there so that's all done kind of homemade uh, DIY so I thought I would give it a quick show and maybe give you some ideas what you can do for cheap or free so in a in my previous video uh, camping video uh, for the one in Porter Creek for August uh, 2020 um, I did a similar setup with uh, this tarp for a little canopy or awning rather and it worked I've got it on the other side of the truck today, but I've done a couple things differently. Um, I'm still using the same sticks. I'm using paracord now instead of uh, uh, using that blue nylon junk, but uh, bought some paracord. And uh, I'll link to it below so you can see the stuff I used. Uh, it's inexpensive and it's paracord. It works. But you'll see that there's a peak to the, to the awning so that the rain can shed off of it. And that is done with a piece of conduit and I've got just a block of wood so that it doesn't damage the top of my truck and yes that is indeed let me show you a fishing pole I got that fishing pole for I think a dollar um, at a uh, uh, like a kind of a bazaar at the uh, fairgrounds where I live it's kind of a uh, garage sale type thing going on for a day or a couple days actually and, and I bought a couple of those and it's going to be turned into an antenna pole eventually so I went ahead and cut off all the fishing stuff except for the very end one um, all the little eyelets and then I've just got that paracord going down to a bracket underneath the truck and then what I did is I still experimenting here but I took uh, that blue rope because I don't want to cut more paracord and uh, pulled that back a little bit from the you can see uh, the uh, off to the left there and then the half inch conduit um, I've got it kind of wedged and zip tied there so that it holds up the awning so that the rain can hopefully uh, come off of it because it probably is going to rain tonight so I'm at Margaret Kinney Campground here in Washington, in the Capitol Forest, and uh, it is beautiful. And uh, it's quiet, except for my neighbors, who are generally quiet. But I have neighbors, and I don't, I'm not used to having neighbors when I camp. So uh, anyway, I thought I would just show you this setup I've got. I'm not going to do a big video today because uh, that's not the point of me being out here. And uh, uh, the point is just to get some rest, relax, and enjoy the peace and quiet. Isn't that what camping is all about? Now, interestingly, I did meet a couple here who is uh, SUV camping, and they too uh, were doing it on the cheap. Now, the difference is they're living out of their SUV. Uh, I'm definitely not doing that, but uh, there's an upswing in number of people doing SUV camping. And we talked about that a little bit and how uh, expensive the most people make things just by you know, worrying about promoting products and worrying about buying all the best of everything. And really, um, they were showing me this that little bit of their equipment and like their chairs were five bucks at a thrift store. You know, that's my kind of price. So uh, if you want to get out and do stuff, just, just go do it. Go Grab whatever you have, go camping. That's what I do. And collect stuff at garage sales and thrift stores and whatever else you can get secondhand. So, anyway, thanks for watching.